Good Tuesday evening, Southeast Texas. An active night across the area anticipated with scattered to numerous showers and storms. I want to check out our interactive uh, street level uh, radar on our website. Otherwise, uh, this weekend looking pretty good as high pressure builds on in. May only see just a 20% coverage on Saturday. Sunday looking hot, humid, and mainly dry with lots of sun. Highs in the mid-90s. Right now, we are watching a disturbance go through the area, and that is interacting with uh, instability and moisture to create that uh, scattered numerous shower and thunderstorm activity over our area. So high pressure is off towards our north and west. So we're seeing winds out of the east and northeast flowing around the high, which is to our north. Hope you can make that out. That will be the case coming up the next few days. Generally, an easterly flow and disturbance is riding through our area. So we'll go with a scattering. Then as we head towards the weekend, high pressure builds on in and that may close things down. Then something you don't see every summer. In fact, I can't remember last time I've seen something like this. This almost looks like a winter trough of low pressure. Look how deep this is. This is pretty impressive. And look at the wind flow. It's emanating all the way from southern Canada across the Dakotas, KC, Oklahoma, and on into Texas. That's a bona fide cold front that's going to come in, it looks like, coming up Monday night into Tuesday. In the tropics, everything is quiet right now, and it's expected to be quiet the next five days. Otherwise, an active night. This may be overdone a bit. We'll see. It looks active across southeast Texas tonight as this activity moves in from the northeast and heads towards the southwest. Then, if that materializes and we do see widespread shower and thunderstorm activity, then it may be a quiet day tomorrow. Maybe only a 20, maybe 30% coverage is a lot of the instability is robbed from the atmosphere that we, uh, mater that we uh, used up uh, this evening across the area. On the Gulf of Mexico, mostly smooth seas around a foot tomorrow. We'll see southeast winds at 5 knots, water temperature 87. About a 50 to 70% coverage across southeast Texas. Could be more. As activity sliding in from the northeast, lows the mid 70s. Tomorrow, 20 to 30 percent coverage. Again, tomorrow's activity depends on how much we see tonight. We'll go about 93 tomorrow. And taking a look at the next three days. Again, disturbances riding in from the east, interacting with daytime heating or instability and copious amounts of summertime moisture over the area. Warrant a 30, maybe 40 percent coverage. Highs mainly in the mid 90s. Then as that high builds on in, Look at the high temperatures going up, rain chances go down, and lots of sun on Sunday. Then Monday, we'll go with a 50% coverage. Then on Tuesday, Monday night into Tuesday look very active as a cold front comes through. 70% coverage could have gone higher. Then look what happens Wednesday of next week. If this materializes, we could see lows in the 70s. Record low for the date is 64 in Beaumont, just to put things in perspective. So we've seen this before, but it's not every summer you see this. Certainly will feel nice. By the middle of the latter part of next week, it may feel pretty comfortable. With low humidity, highs upper 80s to near 90, it'll still be hot, but the heat index will be non-existent, and lows will feel relatively cool for this time of year. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.